a holiday, civic holiday here in Canada. So civic holiday is not a statutory holiday, but a lot of businesses are closed. I think the post office is closed because it says everything that we sold on the weekend has to ship on Tuesday. So um, right now it's Monday, August 5th. I am uh, just came into the shop. Uh, a couple things going on here. We got, we used to have some a bunch of plywood in this corner here. Um, I finally cleared all that out. Can't really see, but uh, I'm gonna be able to put that desk right up against the wall. So, um, cleared all that out, hauled it out back, put it on Facebook, free pickup. Somebody was here within the hour taking all the plywood. So, that's good. I mean, I could have kept the plywood and made more shelves, but in my experience, making shelves is a pain in the ass, and um, the amount of hours you put into making them, you, you might as well just go buy shelves that are easier to put up, tear down, and uh, uh, move around and stuff, you know? I built a bunch of wooden shelves. I'll show you them out of uh, wood, out of stuff. Wood I found in storage lockers, except for the two by fours here, okay? Uh, you see them here. They used to be a lot taller because when we moved out of the old place, um, there they are there. Yeah, when we moved out of the old place, they were too tall to fit into the truck or the storage locker, one of the two, and um, I had to uh, we had to chop them down. But they're still getting used. I got two of the units in the shop here um, that are getting used. Okay, and. Um, they're good shelves, they hold a lot of weight, but um, and they took me a long time to build and transporting them is just a bitch. Like, I, I, will, uh, I don't think they'll ever come out of this building. I'm gonna screw them to the wall and leave them here. Um, anyhow, that's not what this video is about. I just came in to pack, I think we got nine orders going out tomorrow, which isn't great, but it's, I'll take it. Um, not a lot of high dollar stuff, some lower dollar stuff. So I'm going to pack them up. It is uh, 4.39 now, so 4.40 p.m. Hopefully I can get everything packed up within like an hour, an hour and a half and, and get out of here. I'll show you uh, what we sold quick and, uh, and that'll be it. So I'm just uh, going through my spreadsheet, going to pick orders here. So the first SKU we have to pick is for a uh, order on... Our website and the SKU is E8110. Okay, so we just search the spreadsheet and the spreadsheet says to look in eBay 14, which is a bin number 14. Okay, and um, that's pretty much how that works. I'm just going to go through and pick the other uh, eight SKUs out of the spreadsheet so I know where to go look. Okay, so I've gone through the spreadsheet, found all my SKUs, and chicken scratched it onto a pad here. Uh, there's the SKU, it's kind of bonsai, gives me an idea what I'm looking for, and the place to look, or the bin to look in, okay? So uh, that one's a Johnny Cash record, I know where to go for that, so I just wrote Cash Rec. Um, that's a video game box. Anyway, I'm not gonna show you the picking process, because, um, well, there's not a whole lot of light in the back room. And I'm doing my video with my iPhone today. It's not strapped on. And, uh, well, I got to go into these bins and stuff. And so uh, that's what's going to happen there. And uh, I'll pick everything. I'll show you what it is. And hopefully let you know how long it takes me to pack it all. So I'm picking uh, E9193 from BG Box 2, which is Video Game Box 2, okay? And that's as simple as that. It's just a box full of video games. They're all listed. I just got to find E9193. I know it's a, bit, a wrestling game, so uh, I'll just have a quick look here. Here's a wrestling game. There it is right there. E9193. That simple to find it. Because the spreadsheet told me, go find VG Box 2 in the warehouse. And uh, conveniently, it was, uh, I got it labeled everywhere. It was right on top of VG Box 1. So, um, pretty straightforward inventory system. 
really easy to lose a DVD, something the size of a DVD, in uh, in your storage. But when it's in a big box like this, and you label the box, uh, it's pretty easy when the spreadsheet says go find the box as opposed to go find the disc, right? So that's how that works. Okay guys, a few minutes later, and here's what we sold over the weekend. We got a Johnny Cash record there going out. A Hello Kitty alarm clock. I thought this thing would never sell. It's one of my first listings ever on eBay. I don't know about first, but it was definitely when we were first getting involved on eBay. This is like a levitating bonsai potted plant kind of thing. Um, this is from a return pallet from uh, Amazon, I'm assuming. Really hard to get this thing to levitate, but it does work. Um, there's the, the video game we found there. There's a filter for a fridge. And uh, they sell well. I got a Beach Boys Summertime Cruising CD. This was a promotional CD for uh, General Motors Canada, I believe, or Chrysler or something. Um, rare. I'm the only guy selling them. I get $22 a piece for these. They usually go to sunny states in uh, the United States there. Um, people all over the world want me to ship them. I don't ship worldwide yet, so... But that was a good buy. Um story about this CD somebody came into my shop a regular customer when we had a retail store and he said here's a present for you and he gave me one of these and he said list it on eBay and see what happens and guys uh, less than 24 hours later it was bought for $30 and I said do you have more and he said I sure do and I think I bought 40 some odd of these discs off of him for uh, 100 and 40 bucks or 130 bucks. I don't know what I paid him, but it was under 150 bucks. And uh, he said he made tons of money of these back in the day. Um, and sure enough, they still sell. They don't sell like hotcakes. I still got a lot of them. I probably sold about 10 of them. And uh, it's year, over a year later. But, um, you know, over time, this will be a very, very good buy. So. That's the way that is. This is, uh, did I say that? The John Deere sprayer. I think we got 25 bucks for this guy. And uh, this is a humidifier for a guitar. Um, not much to it, guys. 13 bucks, I think we got for it. Um, it is what it is. People buy the strangest things. Um, and this is a lot of Bionicle little miniature Taruga guys. There's like six of them in here. We got... Uh, 50 bucks for these guys. Um, they got their posters and everything. Not quite sure how exactly I'm going to ship them. Probably just like that in their bags. I don't know. I'm not going to go to a whole lot of trouble to bubble wrap them and stuff. Anyway, so that's what we sold. You got uh, the nine orders there. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine orders. I'm going to pack them up real quick and get them out. Not a lot of value on the table here. Average selling price here, guys, is $27. And uh, this lot here, 50 bucks. That brought up the average selling price because some of this stuff sold uh, for under $20. Uh, like, uh, like that one there. And I believe the Johnny Cash record was like $17. Bucks. Okay, guys, about an hour later, we're picked and we're packed. I just got uh, got to label it. So, uh, nine orders going out. Not a heck of a lot of money on the table there. Under 200 bucks Canadian. But, uh, but we're ready to go. So there it is. Okay, guys, there we have it. There's eight packages there. They're all labeled. An hour and a half later. Um, packed, picked, packed, labeled. Uh, there's actually nine packages. One more is over there. Um, it's got to go, that one package has got to go to Chit Chats, which, uh, um, it's going to go by media mail. It's the Beach Boys CD. So it's going to go to Chit Chats, which will get, bring the uh, package across the border and then into the United States Postal Service system. That's uh, what Chit Chats is, their cross-border shipping service. So that will ship for uh, 5 bucks Canadian. But uh, I got a longer handling time on those kind of orders because the depot to drop them off at is about a half hour away. 
So I don't have to drop that up till like Wednesday. Um, and I gotta go out that way to pick up some other stuff. So I'll kill two birds with one stone. Humid day today, so we pulled this out of the inventory and um, figured we'd dust it off a little bit, waiting for it to sell. I had one of these when I was a kid. It's an electro home fan. Uh, it's all blue there. And, uh, really cool fan from the 70s. I think this is 76 ish. Not sure. But uh, pick that up for six or seven dollars at the thrift store there, the fan, and uh, kind of don't really want to sell it, but I think we got 70 or to 90 bucks on it between the sites. Pick this up today, Radio Shack uh, um, hacksaw with the batteries and stuff, chargers. Um, I think we should get about 40 bucks for it. I gave, the, I paid the guy up for it, but I bought this off of him too. And that should sell pretty well. It works great. Pokemon Pokedex there. So, pretty cool. This kind of got thrown into the deal. So that's pretty cool. And uh, we got this guy here. Bionicle kind of guy. And this guy here. So he's pretty cool too. I've sold these kind of things before, bought them off of him, and uh, they sell pretty well. You just gotta list them properly, and he has the books and manuals and they're complete, so. But, um, yeah. So, figured I'd show you the fan and uh, the cool things we bought today. We got a big, um, collection of of uh, Mr. Potato Head stuff that I'll be processing soon. Hopefully we'll show you that in another video. Okay, so envelopes. Um, these I got in an auction. Paid three bucks a box for them. They're new. Uh, boxware. Um, and I've been trying to sell them on eBay for, I don't know, like 20 bucks a box. Had promoted listings. A guy ended up buying 10 boxes off of me. Shipped them out to him. And the next week he bought 15. No, sorry. I think the first time it was 5. Then it was 10. Now this time I'm shipping him 15 of these boxes here. And the uh, problem is eBay keeps taking promotion fees off them. Every single buy. It's like, don't you think that maybe because he's my customer now, I shouldn't have to pay the fees, you know? I paid the first time, but I don't know. I guess I got to pay the fees every time um, because that's how we found them. Whatever. I don't really care because we're still making um, still making a lot of money even with the promoted listings and we're moving the envelopes. They were taking up a lot of space and uh, flipping inventory, you know, you know $3 a box and uh, we're gu guaranteed making 10 bucks a box. So, and this guy has now bought 20, what is 15 plus 10 plus 5. So, that's uh, a lot of boxes. 25, 30 boxes, right? 30 boxes. That's 300 bucks profit. That is good. Happy with that. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I split it up into two shipments last time. I might have to do three this time unless I can figure out a way to get eight boxes in... Um, a, uh, a box and not go over the weight limit with Canada Post, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm going to quickly do that math, figure that out. All right, so there's um, nine boxes in that box. 
I tried to ship him 10 before in this box and I was over the weight limit with Canada Post. This is really heavy, guys. This is going to be about 60 pounds or something. But uh, the weight limit is like 33 kilograms and I think this is about 30 kilograms. Okay, so in that box, 29 kilograms, which is a lot. Um, I just said it was 30 kilograms. Kind of ran out of tape in the middle of the uh, pack job, but whatever. Anyway, uh, it's ready to go. This is 9 out of 15. I'm going to send them another package with 6 more um, boxes of envelopes. Uh, that is heavy as hell. It says right on the label, heavy. Uh, let's see if I can do this without showing you his name. Yeah, heavy load. Right there. Um, I'm trying to focus. There. It says right there, heavy, eh? And it says, uh, anyway. So, um, this is 9 of 15. Oh, like, uh, 29 kilograms, which is what? Like 60 pounds or something like that. Crazy, I don't know. Probably more. And, uh, huh. Um, yeah, this guy paid $70 shipping. That box cost me, with my discount, Canada Post, 27 in change to ship. Let me just confirm that over here. One second, sorry about the crazy video. $28.48. Um, that's cheap as hell. I mean, that's like 50 cents a pound, right? For me, I think that's pretty cheap to ship that much weight in that big of a box. But it's only going to Scarborough and I'm in Milton, so I think that's where it's going. I'll mark them. All right, guys, uh, still Tuesday here. Just picked this up um, after packing up all those freaking envelopes back there. I don't know how I'm going to get the envelopes out of the car. Well, probably the same way I got them in. There's a uh, heavy as heck. Um, I might just bring them by to the depot and drop them off there. Just bought this here, local pickup, 10 bucks, Facebook Marketplace, should flip. All brand new in there. Um, I've sold just that for 30 or 40 bucks, so I'm assuming I can get at least 40 bucks out of this. Okay, there you go. All right, so everything's still in the back there. I went to, um, went to the post office and the lineup was halfway down the aisle well the shoppers drug mart post office which is open late um decided i'm not going to wait in line because you never know how long people are going to take up there's only and there was only one cashier on um you know seven eight people a couple people could take one person can take 10 minutes of their time you never know at retail so all that stuff is going to ship expedited anyway, so it can wait overnight uh, until tomorrow early, uh, early, late afternoon or late morning, early afternoon, and I'll drop it off on the way into the shop at uh, the real post office, and um, whatever, it is what it is, I'm not waiting. So that's the end of the, today's blog, blog, whatever kind of log you want to be, thanks for tuning in. Later. I'm gonna go get it tonight.